I'll be telling you the legit way of getting authenticated buyers. What did I say? Authenticated buyers, okay? So how do you get genuine buyers for your export commodity? Welcome to another sweet episode on our channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to this warm, warm family. I'm sure you're happy to see this beautiful mama of four kids. Okay, so on our today's um, topic, we'll be discussing how to get um, genuine buyers for your export commodities. Okay, I get a lot of this question all the time. Um, Hi, Queen Omada, how do I get genuine buyers? Okay, and um, I keep wondering because like, it's not, it's not as if it's funny though, but Nigerians are so gullible. You, you take all your lifetime to get capital, to raise capital, and export is not cheap. Okay, for the kind of export I teach here, I teach industrial export. It's not cheap. You get 30 million, you get 40, you get 20 million. And somebody comes through the internet and said, um, I want to buy your product and you just ship your product. Come on now, come on, come on, come on. You can do better than that, okay? So in this channel, I'll be telling you the legit way of getting authenticated buyers. What did I say? Authenticated buyers, okay? So how do you get genuine buyers for your export commodity? Number one, you use the ITC trade map, okay? Um, I talked about using ITC trade map because of um, how legit it is, okay? So I'll leave the link on how to get the ITC trademark. Okay, so what I'm saying is number one, you use the ITC trademark to get trademark to get the address of your buyers, their contact, and you travel to validate it. Somebody is asking me travel. Yeah. What we do here is serious business. Like I said, I don't teach people how to smuggle here. I teach you lifetime business that you will teach your children, your children, children, your children, 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 as per importer, exporter that we are. So when you get the buyer, you go there and authenticate and validate this buyer. I try to be as analog as possible when it comes to this because come on, 30 million, no be joke. Huh? If you know where I come from, 30 million is like the universe. <laughs> so, 30 million, one container is no joke. Then when you start doing so many containers, you just say, somebody just come from the blues and say, give me one container, you just give. No, no. Nah. Mm -mm. So, you use the ITC trade map, get the contact of those person, get the address, and travel to that place and authenticate the buyer. That is number one. So number one, basically I said, use the ITC trade map to get your address of your buyers, to get the contract of your buyers, and travel to that place and authenticate and validate your buyers. It is serious business. If you are not ready to do that, then I think it's better you keep your money, your capital, so you don't lose it. So here I'm going to be giving you the hard pill. Bitter, that is true. Then number two, you use trade um, association member list. Okay, most of this um, trade association they have their members and they they do a lot of work to validate and uh, check the kind of member that they accept into that association. Okay, for example, if you are selling spices, you have the American Spice Association. You know people where they do be more more uh -huh. so those lists you know it's not anyhow people you you hardly see scammers and I'm, I'm not saying you can't see scammer but you hardly that's the word okay you have the european spice association you have the manufacturing association of american manufacturing association most of this association you can get the list after you get the list you can now begin to form contact with them and then travel. I always insist on this travel. So in your export journey, make provision for travel. It should be among your costs. 
Because you don't, I don't believe in you not seeing person and just start sending millions of naira to that person. Okay, so here we are talking about how you get the contact. Getting contact is one aspect. Then validating and authenticating the contact is another. So the first one I say get the contact through ITC and validate. The second I say use trade association member list one. Use export promotion list in your country too. You can use embassy inquiry from your country three. Um, still the same too. I'm still discussing point number two. So the trade list, trade association list, for example, um, European Spice Association, American Spice Asso Association, uh, uh, manufacture uh, Spice Manufacturing uh, Association of America, America's American Spice uh, Manufacturing Association. When you go to their website, most times you see the list. Sometimes you have to pay before you are allowed to assess this list sometimes you don't need to pay for european spice association basically i did not pay i just downloaded the list and i started building relationship and contact i've traveled to two of the contacts to their company to see them some of the company have lived for 100 and something years that one in fact my mind is addressed because i know that i am too small for them to want to dupe me okay so you use the trade association member list for example the American Spice Association, for you to get their membership list, you must be a member. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is most of these trade associations, they, they have done some due diligence to some point. Then after you've gotten the list, which is like first point, then you establish relationship and find a way of validating that contact. Okay, and aside the um, association uh, membership list you can use the export promotion list most of the export promotion in each country they have some inquiry list if you go to the inquiry desk you can build contact there and validate that contact then embassy list you can go to the embassy in your country of that country that you want to sell to you take some inquiry list then it is your duty to validate. The word validation keep coming in. You need to validate, okay? For example, I got a contact from ITC. ITC is a superb website that you know that you can't get um, scammers there. To my shock, we, this is our last uh, export mastery class. Some of the students travel to Dubai to go and check some of those contacts. They find out that two of those contacts are fake. It doesn't exist. Like it's not existing, no need. Like, pata pata, you know they exist. Imagine if you have sent, maybe those students have sent three containers. That's like 90 million. You now start hear, hearing story. No now. Let's not be penny wise pound foolish. How much will it cost you to travel to authenticate that contact, okay? So number one, I say get your contact from ITC trade map website, which I will drop um, the link on the comment section and authenticate. Number two, I say get your contact from trade association or your export promotion or embassy, then authenticate. Number three, I say go to trade mission and trade fair. Ask question and just explore. <laughs> explore. Guys, explore. What did they fear? Eh? What did they pa? So you go to trade mission, you go to trade show, you ask question, you explore, make friends, make connections, um, ask for their pain point, ask them what they want. That is the way you meet real buyers, human being, face to face. Maybe this internet, the more you see, the less you understand. Okay, that is number three. Then number four, referral from known and trustworthy contacts. Mark the word trustworthy contact let somebody not just send you message like and say somebody wants to buy ginger you just carry your head hard end money i'm saying this because export is not cheap if your money go before you raise that capital again because they like saying that three trail and nine jam here at the same time so you get referral from known and trustworthy contacts then you build relationship and again you do what you authenticate the contact for every contact you get you do what you authenticate then the fifth the fifth and the last one is visiting the company directly so you visit you make 
a bold visit to the company. You do your research, you go to the company, you make your offer to them, you tell them why you came, you want to export ginger, you're from Nigeria, you have the best ginger in the world. Ah, they think they suit me if I talk this guy. Thing. So you have the best ginger in the world, you want to export and all that. What's the worst that can happen? You see that is, they will tell you that they have um, enough supply already or um, you should follow um, a certain procedures before you can be their suppliers. Okay, so these are the five ways you can get genuine and authentic um, uh, contacts for uh, uh, you can get genuine authentic buyers for your commodity just to recap I say get contact from ITC website which I will drop the link and authenticate to get contact from trade association export promotion embassy and then authenticate three I say go to trade mission trade fair ask question and explore number four I say um, follow referral from trustworthy contact the word, the match, the uh, the um, um, word there is trustworthy contacts. And our final point, we say visit the company directly and just shoot, shoot your shot, <laughs> just shoot, and um, let's see what comes out of uh, from there. That is, this is the authentic local way I use in getting my buyers. Okay, we have so many ways you can get buyers from um, internet, from um, LinkedIn from other place but i'm talking about the analog way that you hardly can go wrong and you get some traditional buyers let me use that word traditional buyers so that you cut some kind of um risks with others online um james bond and all that okay we have come to the end of um to this um, um topic and i and it's so amazing uh, spending today with you and i will see you in our next class bye for now